Artificial intelligence can now control your computer. Anthropic released a feature called computer use, and it allows Claude to control your computer and do tasks for you. You access it through their API, so it's a little bit technical to set up. Spoiler alert, I don't know how useful this is right now. It's in beta right now, and it's I think they refer to it in places as an experimental feature. And also it's very slow, it's very clunky, and it falls over at the slightest hurdles, like certain pop-ups, for example. I just can't figure out how to get rid of them and move past them. So I don't know how useful it is. However, I would still recommend playing with this because it is a fascinating glimpse at what is coming down the line because most of my job is performed sitting at a computer and this gives us a glimpse at the fact that these artificial intelligence systems are going to be able to perform these tasks. So what I've got here is I've got the test environment running right now. On the right hand side is the test environment desktop and I've got Firefox open on the Midjourney site and I have logged into that site. So let's see how Claude gets on with trying to create a Midjourney image. I'm going to use this fun prompt that I often use. So I'm saying, please generate an image using the website open on the screen. The image should be a photograph of an elephant and a monkey. The elephant should be riding a bicycle and should be holding a bouquet of flowers with its trunk. The monkey should be standing nearby watching. They should be in Paris. So let's see how Claude gets on trying to generate this image in Midjourney. So again, all I'm doing is I'm typing this prompt in on the left hand side and I'm hitting return and then I'm letting Claude do its thing uh, with the test environment desktop. So the way that it works is that it will take screenshots of what's going on and then it will send actions to the desktop based on its analysis of the screenshots. So let's hit return. It's quite slow. So right now it is running. Now it's taking a screenshot to see what's going on and then it will decide on the actions it's going to take once it's analyzed what's on the screen. So it says uh, you can see it's where it can see that it's on the Midjourney website. Oh, look at that. It actually submitted the prompt first time. So now it's saying we're not actually logged in. That is not correct. We are. We are logged in. So it, it's a little bit confused. So I'm saying, no, all good, you successfully sent the prompt. The images will be accessible behind the red icon with a one on it. So next, I'm going to ask it to assess the images uh, to see which one it feels fulfills the brief best. So it's, it's chosen this image here. So I'm pointing out that the elephant is not holding the bouquet of flowers in its trunk, and I'm asking what Claude thinks we should do next. So it's prompting again. Hmm, interesting. So it's modified the prompt. And again, it's picking the top right image. And it says it's the best match for my requirements. It's clearly holding the bouquet with its trunk. The monkey is prominently visible. The elephant is properly riding a bicycle. The Eiffel Tower is visible in the background. Very interesting. Okay. So, yes, I agree. Let's upscale that image. Now, I highly doubt that Claude is going to know how to upscale that image, but let's find out. Claude absolutely seems to know how to upscale this image. <laughs> okay, what's it doing now? It's aha, so it clicked on the word upscale instead of clicking one of these buttons, subtle or creative. That, I mean, that's fascinating. Okay. I mean, that makes a, it makes a certain amount of sense for sure. And it's running into the same issue. So 
So what's it up to now? I think it's still trying to figure this out. Right now it seems to be caught in a loop. It just keeps going back and it keeps clicking on the text upscale instead of clicking on one of the buttons next to it. Yeah. So perhaps we should intervene and tell it what it should do. So he's, it says it's having some issues. So now I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling Claude, you know, what it's been doing wrong. Um, but I haven't told it which button to click. There's two buttons. There's, you can upscale something uh, using the subtle mode or the creative mode. So let's see what it chooses. It's decided to click on the creative upscaling button which would not have been my own personal choice but it's a choice it's fair enough oh no what's going on it's in the wrong tab right now you can do this Claude I have faith in you So right now, this is pretty useless. I mean, it's a lot of fun to be sitting here and telling an artificial intelligence how to um, generate images on Midjourney and watching it do it and watching it puzzle it out and watching it get things right, watching it get things totally wrong. But it is not very much use. However, imagine when I can say go and generate an image of X, Y, Z and, and it will be able to go create the image, analyze the images, figure out which one best fits the brief, modify the prompt if it's not getting what it wants. I mean, it's doing all this right now. It's just that it's needing a lot of help from me. Utterly fascinating and completely useless is how I would describe this right now. But we glimpse at what this means for our future for my future as a marketer is um, kind of mind blowing. Oh, how's it getting on? Has it upscaled? Has it managed to upscale this yet? Looks like it's about to click the right button. Is it hesitating? I'm not sure what's going on right now. It's like it, maybe it doesn't want to do the wrong thing again. Ah, it looks like it's done it. I see that once you click the creative button for upscaling, it starts processing the request. Um, I'm going to say, do you remember what the red icon with the one on it signified? So right now, I think, um, I wonder again, you know, it's taking screenshots every so often. And I wonder in this instance, if it had taken a screenshot if it had taken more screenshots would it have figured out that that red icon had appeared again or not again you know it's hard to say i don't know um but it has now successfully it has prompted my journey it has analyzed the images once i told it i wasn't happy with the, its choice of image it modified the prompt uh, created another set of images, picked the most appropriate one and upscaled it. Now, a lot of intervention on my part, but still, it did do all those things. So now it's saying, um, yep, it's found the upscaled version. It has more detail and higher resolution. Uh, the upscaled version looks even better with sharper details and richer colors. Would you like to use this upscaled version? Uh, yes, great job. I'm going to say, what image would you like to create next? So I'm giving it complete creative freedom here. Um, to finish out this video, let's just see what image would Claude actually like to create now that it knows how to do this. And we'll see what it comes back with. Since you're asking for my creative suggestion, 
I'd love to create something whimsical and unexpected. How about a cozy library inside a giant teacup with books floating on tiny boats in a sea of tea while a wise owl wearing reading glasses sits on the rim reading by lamplight, steam rising from the tea in the moonlight. This sounds fantastic. I can't wait to see this image. This would combine surreal elements with cozy vibes. Would you like me to try generating this image or would you prefer a different concept? I would love you to generate this image. Analyze the four images that are generated. Um, modify the prompt if the images do not fulfill the brief. And once you have an image you are happy with, up scale that image using the subtle upscaler. This is going to be a tough image to generate. There's a lot of um, a lot of different factors and details in this image. So uh, we'll see. There's two possibilities here. One is that it will not find an image that fulfills the brief. The other option is that it just uh, that Claude won't be that picky and we'll just pick something that uh, that is close enough. And we'll see. So it's put in a prompt. Midjourney is generating the um, four options. And Claude is taking screenshots periodically to see what's going on. It looks like Midjourney has got those options ready. So now we're just waiting for Claude to take a screenshot and see Yes, here we go. So now Claude should analyze these images to see which one fulfills the brief best. And again, you know, this is Claude is now doing all of this. Hopefully it remembers um, where everything is. And it's quite slow because it's taking that screenshot. OK, so now it's analyzing each one. All four images have captured some elements beautifully, very true, but they're missing the key element of the books floating on tiny boats. Let me modify the prompt to emphasize this element. Amazing. So yeah, it, it analyzed the images. It realized it had not completely fulfilled the brief. Now, is Midjourney ever going to be able to completely fulfill this brief? I don't know. Um, but this is kind of... Um, this is kind of mind blowing, really. Like I'm completely hands off here now. And, you know, the first time we did it, I had to kind of explain everything as we went along, which, you know, it makes sense. It's like if we're handing something off to a, a virtual assistant, it would be the same. You need to you need to explain the uh, process. First and then hand over. Um, I don't think Mid Journey has got this right. But it looks like Claude might be happy enough with this iteration. Let's see what it says. It looks like it has picked that one and uh, is upscaling it. Is it going to be happy with this final image? And it says, perfect, the subtle upscale is, has completed and the result is beautiful. The upscaled version maintains all the magical elements while enhancing the details. The owl with its reading glasses is more defined. The tiny wooden boats carrying books are clearer. I'm not sure I see those, but anyway. <laughs> the steam and moonlit atmosphere are more nuanced. The porcelain teacups details are sharper. The floating books and magical elements are more refined. The overall lighting and composition are enhanced while maintaining the original whimsical feel. 
would you like to generate another creative image or would you like a different variation of this one? So let's just pop over to mid journey and see, get a better look at this. Oh, I see. So there are, there is a little, so I guess that might be a, the, the floating boat. What's interesting is, you know, I think Claude did exactly what I would probably do here, um, which is uh, modify the prompt, but then, you know, take something that is is close enough or good enough. So that is kind of fascinating. And again, we could easily just say to Claude here, you know what, I don't think the, um, the boats carrying the books are, are big enough or clear enough and, and see where it goes. But for today, I think that's enough of an experiment. Um, so absolutely fascinating. I would highly recommend uh, playing around with this just so you get a feel for it, so that you get a feel for how this works right now. And also you get a feel for what is coming down the line. Um, and if you think of any interesting experiments or particularly if you think of any practical uses for um, for Claude computer use, I would love to hear what those are. Yeah, I'd love to hear what you get up to with it. So do let me know.